to another edition of the 90 Second Spotlight. Today we'll be talking about headbands. As educators, we know our primary goal is to help each individual student become a lifelong learner. But where do we begin and how do we take on such a large task? One way to increase overall achievement is through vocabulary instruction. Words matter. Increasing the size of students' vocabulary has been proven to increase reading comprehension, written and oral communication, and close achievement gaps. One strategy to improve vocabulary instruction bars from the popular children's game, headbands. In this strategy, students compete against each other to correctly guess vocabulary words by asking questions to their teammates. To prepare for this game, you will need a large rubber band or headband for each student and a stack of vocabulary words. Without looking, each student places a card in his or her headband so that the other players can see the word. Then the students ask yes or no questions such as, am I an animal or can I fit in a box? The other students answer the questions to help the student determine the word within a set time period. Once the time runs out or the word is answered, then the next student has a turn and uses the same process to determine his or her vocabulary word. Students get a point for each word they guess correctly. At the end of the game, the team with the most points wins. This strategy can even be adapted for different subjects. Try using headbands to review math facts. Students have a number on their card and kids give them factors and equations that make this of this number. Or review for figurative language by having students give examples of the figurative language device rather than answering questions. Think of how you can adapt and use headbands in your classroom. Try it out and then submit a flip grid reflection for extra XP points. Happy headbanding!